Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Just had to bring you a little update here. This is pretty incredible. Uh, a week back, or a little bit longer, I did a video on a idea I had for a self-watering kiddie pool type thing. You know, I built these self-watering rain gutter grow systems and stuff. Well, what happened is uh, grow bags are supposed to be really good for allowing the roots to self-prune. So what I wanted to do is I put some of my potting mix and uh, I'll put a link to that on below the video here uh, how I make my own inexpensive potting mix in these Walmart recyclable shopping bags you can buy for 50 cents at Walmart okay well what I did is I put them in these little kiddie pools they had out at Menards here in Brainerd for like six seven bucks and just put a couple of inches of water in the bottom to allow them to sub irrigate uh, you know basically the same way a rain gutter grow system works you know it's drawing water wicking up capillary action from the bottom up well I did the video and then I did another update I'll, I'll put links below the video to uh, those videos the first one and then the little update so far they're working fantastic well the, the one thing is when you get a heavy rain or something I just siphoned the water out of the thing I should put an overflow or and this is what I was discussing in my uh, uh, video is you know about installing a float or an overflow and maintaining a low water level because you don't need a lot of water level you want most of the bag to be open to the air to uh, absorb uh, the uh, you know to have air flow and if you watch the video you'll see exactly what I'm talking about uh, anyway um, Here's some of the pictures on that video I did, and it shows, you know, the uh, I had tomato plants here in uh, a kiddie pool, and I put in a small amount of water, and then every two or three days I would just add to that. Of course, when it rained, it got deeper, and I siphoned it out. What I'm going to do is put an overflow in and probably a float and stuff, but I just want to play around with the aspect of it and see how well it works. So far, it's been working fantastic. Uh, here's some more tomato plants. They're really growing great, really healthy. Here's a tomato plant. I had made my own grow bag out of a out of um, landscape fabric, some really good quality landscape fabric. What I did is I just folded it over and used the seal bar in my. Uh, it's like a food saver, a little more commercial one I have, and used the the heat seal bar to seam it, and then I just took the end and bunched, you know crunched it together and put a little zip tie on it for the bottom part and then turned the whole thing inside out and that made this grow bag the brown one you see there and, and I had set up a few with just individual tubs well I thought well instead of just going around doing each one individually how about if I combine them and that's where I came up with the idea of putting them in the uh, kiddie pool well here is a, this is a, a blackberry plant that it was just about dead and I trimmed it back and put it in one of those grow bags I made and, uh, and it's just going wild just really really working great well anyway there's this uh, fella and I'll put a link down here too also to not only my uh, Facebook page for the soft watering rain gutter grow system but we set up a new page where we can have a lot more interaction with people and uh, it's a Facebook uh, group page and I'll put links to both both Facebook page. and you can exchange information ideas with other people and stuff like that If you really want to get into playing around with doing some new concepts and gardening stuff I invite you to uh, you know check out the page go there and you can see it but uh, there's a guy down there uh, on one on my Facebook page George W I want to pronounce this right Hendren it's H-E-N-D-R-E-N -E Senior and he lives in Stanchfield, Minnesota. Heck, he is only about a hundred miles southeast of me. Well, we got talking and I had got to go down there next weekend. I just want to go down there and uh, and do a video on this, his setup. Well, he had seen my kiddie pool set up and we've talked back and forth about it and different things and this is what he came up with this is great he took a standard raised bed 
And what he did uh, is he, and all the video I do next week will have a lot more information. But uh, he leveled it and put some cardboard down and got it level. Okay, you can see he's got a, a six mil black tarp that he, he put down here to uh, level it. And then uh, he, uh, you can see, I think he's got some water in it there. And then he installed the float. It looks like he's got a little bracket he came up with himself, a little bracket, a little L-shaped bracket, and then, he drew, and then he's got that float. Because what we were saying is what you want to do is just maintain maybe a half an inch of water, three quarters of an inch of water. You don't need a lot because uh, uh, the whole idea is you want the, whole, the most part of the bag to be open to the air. So it, we're only supplying the water to it so it can sub irrigate. This would uh, also eliminate, I would believe, some algae growth and thing because you're going to be changing over the water uh, quite regularly because maintaining a small minimal amount of reserve in the bottom in this uh, platform here, uh, it's going to change over more readily and that, that should help eliminate some of that. Anyway, here is another view. You can see the float in the corner there and it looks like water is going to, he's got this all leveled out really nice setup. This guy has also built a beautiful hoop system over these so he can cover and extend the season out later in the year. <laughs> That's really going to be cool. Here he's showing, he's sticking his finger down I think to show the water level, you know, about a half inch, inch, whatever it is and he's maintaining that. Here is, uh, and now if you look where the little shadow is to the right of that center pole where the shadows come, there is a little drain hole. So he's got it set on the, an inch, inch and a half, whatever, so his little float goes up. But if it would rain heavy or something, any excess water is just going to go right out that, which is a great idea. That way you're not going to have any problem of uh, the root rot or anything like that. The whole bag is just going to be able to open and grow like crazy. I think the system is going to work phenomenal. But what's really impressive is George took an idea that I was kicking around with the kiddie pool and, and, and just jumped on it and went ahead and built this thing. And it is impressive. And I, I can't wait to get down there next week and I want to shoot a video on it. I guess you could call this the self-watering grow bag grow system or something. It's pretty, it's pretty clever. Anyway, there's a side view at the end there. And he was asking how many bags he could put on there. Well, he's got strawberry plants planted in this. And uh, you could have them pretty close together. I would think just as long as you leave like an air, you know, an inch between bags. He's got strawberry plants, so just so air can circulate around and you get the effect of the air pruning that grow bags are noted for. Uh, if it was tomato plants or something, you'd probably want to space them farther apart so you allow for the, you know, the bushiness of the, of the tomato plants. But... This is a four by eight bed, so you can put a lot of grow bags on it. You know, if you're raising lettuce or beets or carrots in it or something like that that doesn't expand up and wide, you should be able to get a lot of things in this area. So, uh, but George, thank you very much. What a heck of an idea! Way, way you, you took this and run with it. And I just wanted to tell uh, George thanks, and I'll be uh, looking forward to meeting him and doing a video uh, in person with him on this. And he can explain to you exactly how he set it up and everything. But I think he's done a heck of a job. I wanted to share that with everybody and hope you enjoyed this. I think it's pretty clever. This is Larry. I'm Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.